Hello friends, let us solve another problem based on under remit pile. Suppose let us see in previous problem we have solved only if we are having one extension area, one bulb. So here how many bulbs we are having? Three. That means we can call it as a multi under rimmed pile. Now, how to find the safe bearing capacity or safe loading capacity that will is nothing but an ultimate capacity of a pile divided by factor of safety, isn't it? So here, what about the what about the ultimate capacity of a pile that can be written as end bearing plus nothing but a frictional resistance. What about the end bearing resistance? That will be equal to. So if a load is applied on this, how this load will be resisted? The portion below the under remit that will behave like a soil. That means this entire portion will behave like a soil. That means up to the length of two meter. So what is the diameter of the pile? That is given as 0 0.4 meter. But after the two meter distance, that entire length of the pile we have behaved like a, having diameter of 2.5 times the D. That means that will be equal to, you will get it as around one meter. So what about the end bearing resistance? That will be equal to unit end bearing resistance into area of the end bearing. What about the here? C and C, what about the C value? 70. What about the NC value? 9. What about the area of end bearing? This much, that will be nothing but a 5 by 4 into what about the enlarged area? 1 whole square. This is what about the end bearing resistance. What about the frictional resistance? So this can be summed up in two, day, two ways, QS1 plus QS2. In the first two meter part, we are having contact with the soil and the pile. But the remaining we are in contact with the soil and soil. So up to the 2 meter, we have to consider our adhesion factor as 0 0.5. After 2 meter, we have to consider adhesion factor as 1. Why? Because soil and soil is in contact with. So if I expand this, alpha into C, what is the alpha in the first part? 0 0.5. What is the C value? 70. And what about the area? That is nothing but a pi into whatever the diameter 0 0.5 up to a length of 2 meter plus or what about the remaining part the remaining part as the soil and soil is in contact with alpha value 1 what about the c value 70 what about the circumference uh, surface area pi into what about the diameter sorry this is 0 0.4 diameter is 1 into over length of 1.425 plus 1.25 how much 2.5 plus 3.77 0 0.77 how much that will be nothing but a 3.27 so by this we can get the ks value from this you can get the qb value if you find out the magnitude then your ultimate will be equal to qb plus qs now our motive is to find out the q safe that will be equal to qu divided by factor of safety if you do that qu divided by factor of safety as 3 then we will get the answer as 388.7 kilo newtons. So as I have described in the theory, before the enlarged part, we have to consider the soil below the enlarged part will behave like a pile. So up to the enlarged part, we have to consider it as a pile diameter. After the enlarged part, we have to consider it as diameter of the pile is a nothing but a one meter. Okay, this is what about the uh, problems on the under remit piles. Thank you.